Gary, everybody on a high after uh, Tuesday's performance and the fantastic uh, victory. But uh, so you know we're going to have to make one change with Lee Vaughan out. But uh, what's happening for the team on the bench? Well, unfortunately, we we got two out at the moment. Uh, two key players, which is Lee Vaughan, which you know, but Danny Haynes as well is out. Uh, he's done his groin a couple of days ago. We, we tried to keep it a, a bit of a secret. We didn't really want Northampton to, to know necessarily. They'll know in a few minutes. But uh, yeah, he's hurt his groin and we'll have to see how he, how he gets on with that um, for the next couple of games. But uh, we brought in, um, uh, obviously, Darrell Berry will, will come in on, on, on that side. And uh, I also remember Kane Ferdinand, Ferdinand playing that role very, very well a few times at his previous clubs. And uh, I think he's desperate to get to show what he can do. I, I know what he can do, and I've asked him to go and produce it today. And I feel that he's the one that could be that um, wide player that can get at people, uh, like Danny did uh, against Cambridge. And hopefully he'll take his, take his opportunity. That's a bit left field because obviously he hasn't been involved very much recently and he's had his injury as well. Right field. Yeah. <laughs> right field. Okay, right field. Uh, but I understand what you're saying. And yeah, it is, it is but uh, you know, we're with them all the time. We're, we're training with them. We know what they do in training. We know what we need. You know, we need legs. Uh, we need a competitiveness. We need a relentlessness. And I just feel that, um, again, the penny dropped with him. You know, sometimes the penny doesn't drop. Sometimes as a coach over the years, you get the experience of knowing which ones are right up for it. And they're the ones that have got to see you through. And uh, he gets his opportunity today because of, uh, of course, you know, Danny's, uh, Danny's groin strength. And the bench? Um, well, Harry Williams comes on the bench. Um, so we, we, we brought him back in. The rest of the bench is pretty much, pretty much the same. Um, well, obviously, Hanksy comes, comes onto the bench. Um, we've got seven, seven bench members now, which is good, and we've got three sitting in the stands, so that's good because uh, obviously we brought all the loans back. To, uh, so if you're going to bring the loans back, you've got to involve them, whether it be watching the game, being on the bus, being in the hotel, so that they, uh, they're ready with the right mentality when, it, when, they, when and if they get their opportunity. And they'll be match fit as well because they've been playing games and Harry's been scoring goals with Gloucester. Yeah, exactly. And we had a bit of a practice game the other, uh, yesterday for only about half an hour with some of the pros that are not in the starting 11 and the youth team. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I, was, I haven't seen them all, but I was impressed with the, with the standard. And two or three lads stood out and Harry was one of those. And, uh, you know, just shows you. Sometimes if you create a, you know, you can create a, a good impression with a manager very quickly, and uh, there you are, you find yourself uh, on the bench straight away. Now, Tuesday was a great performance. Will your, will your message to them, just before they go out, just be the same again? My missus, what's she got? Your message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, missus, okay. Um, you got to change them teeth, haven't you? I have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, the message is, has been said um, at the hotel and, and all week in training. The main thing is we've got to be relentless in our intent to attack. That's what we did on Tuesday. But you mustn't forget that relentlessness in your intent to win the ball back. Now, if we can do both of those things, then that demoralises opposition at any level. Um, because often at levels, the qualities are pretty much similar in both sides, that's why they're all at, at this level. But it's that team energy, that team spirit and that relentlessness, I'm going to say, it, and that intent, which I'm going to say again. And, uh, and I think it's, I'm hoping that it's now ingrained in their game. Considering it's you know, the middle of April, the pitch looks in really decent nick here. It's, it's in great nick. We certainly haven't played on a surface like this for a little while. And uh, so that's conducive. It sort of shows you that Northampton feel that they've got a decent football team and, and they'll pass it around. So, you know, we've got to stop them passing it around, stop them taking the onus against us because they do. They're two fullbacks bomb on all the time. But, uh, you know, we've got to be assured on the breaks. We've got to make sure that we don't give it away and we enjoy the surface as well.